So uh, this first video, uh, we're going to uh, cover the cover image. So we're going to go over um, the massive image now that you are allowed to put inside of um, your Facebook page. So this is what you will see. And again, you have the uh, this little bar up here. This page is not live yet. Okay, uh, not until I publish. I click the publish now. So uh, we're able to fool around and get used to the features. So uh, first is uh, add a cover. And the cover is just the large image that you will see at the top. And if you're familiar with uh, profiles, or if you have a personal profile on Facebook, then you will understand what this large image is. Okay, and we're going to put a large image in here. It says pick a unique photo to feature at the top of the page timeline. This space is not meant for promotions, coupons, or advertisements. Your cover photo should not be primarily text-based or infringe on anyone else's copyright. Um, if you refer to the guide, you will find all of the rules that um, Facebook has laid out for your cover image. So I've already uh, got a cover image set to go here, and your cover image is 851 by 315 pixels is the perfect image okay so I just basically took my header graphic and uh, I, I just resized it to to um, fit inside here okay it's it's not uh, perfect but it's not bad okay we're just gonna save changes and there you go so this is what people will see okay when they first come to your page okay and that is a, it's a massive graphic compared to uh, what you were allowed to have before Okay, so uh, when you, some things to keep in mind when you're uploading your cover image, we've already gone over the size, 851 by 315. It will be resized, but if it's not the right proportion, then it will not fit in the, in the box properly. Okay, so make sure it is in that proportion. And um, when you're uploading your, your um, cover image, uh, there cannot be any type of uh, advertisements in there okay it can't say anything to do with contact information or clicking here or join us or anything along those lines so again refer to the the guide for all of the different rules that Facebook has out make sure that you don't uh, break their their uh, terms of service or their their rules against the cover image because you don't want to uh, get your page deleted um, uh, just because you you put some call to action in there for example okay so that's it for this video on the cover image make it engaging make it um, attractive and uh, professionally designed uh, and uh, you can change this as often as you want um, just a uh, one last note some little um, creative tips that you can do here is a uh, you can incorporate this little thumbnail image into the larger image you can use this uh, this uh, cover image as a way to um, um, highlight some of your fans uh, posts or images maybe uh, you have a little contest where you get your fans to design something and because it's very easily uh, changeable uh, uh, then you can kind of change this every day or every every week if you'd like you can put um, pictures of um, your fans or your fans interacting with your brand uh, pictures of your staff in there if you're uh, an actual personality like if you're branding yourself then you can put uh, pictures of you and and you personally so if you're a mom or a dad or something you can have a um, you know half the picture can be um, you know you, that part of your life it could be your family life and then the other half of the picture could be you uh, presenting at a conference for example to show um, you know the duality of your life Okay, that's it for uh, this video, and I will see you in the next one.